Hey guys, Sport here. Very special video for you here today. I know I say that a lot, but this is a super, super special video. I worked really hard on this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But there's a reason this is so special. This is my 100th video. Just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who's watched since the beginning. And to those, the first video it is. Stick around to the end of this for an a super exciting announcement. So, in today's video, I will be counting down my absolute must-watch adult animated shows from 2020 to 2022. This video was made on March 14th, 2022, so anything after that doesn't count. The only rule is that it must have aired its first season in at least 2020, so nothing else. I'll be counting down my top five. If there's anything I miss, please comment down below. Oh, I was probably... You just feel lazy to watch it. Please tell me. So for number five, I chose something that I felt like was pretty underrated or just kind of forgot of in the adult animation fans community. And that is... Yep, that's right. Duncanville. So some real quick uh, background history on Duncanville. Duncanville first aired on Fox on February 16, 2020 and was renewed for a second season that was released on May 23rd, 2021. It was created by Mike and Julie Sa Ash Ashner Scully. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. And believe it or not, Amy Poehler, who also voices the main character Duncan and his mother, Annie, along with Ty Burrell playing his father, Jack, Murky Lindholm as his little sister, Kimberly, Joyce Monsky as his five-year-old sister, Jing. It also starts as three friends, Wolf, Yangzi, and Bex, played... By In Order, Zach Cherry, Yasir Lester, and Betsy Serto. There's also his crush and sometimes friend Mia, played by Rashida Jones. The show is about a 15 year old boy from Duncanville, Texas, and his life. It's basically another dysfunctional fo family Fox comedy, or Simpsons clone. Now, for what you want to know why this is on the list. Now, this show doesn't really have anything special to it, it's just a normal show. But this show made me laugh so hard, so many times. And I love the show because it's just got so much heart to it. It doesn't have to rely on cutaway gags or going to crazy storylines. It can just give us a fun thing, like when Jack, the dad, gets hired, isn't getting hired for his plumbing business. So he has a midlife crisis and writes a rock opera called Rami. No relation to Tommy whatsoever. Luckily, it's also been renewed for a Thursday season, so who knows, maybe it's going to be the next big show on, Fo on the Fox lineup. But again, there's nothing special to it, so that's why it's on the bottom of the list. Duncanville is available on Hulu. And number four is... Yep, that's right, Smiling Friends. Well, if you've actually probably heard of this show, I sure have. It's really big right now. Um, it's actually by two, uh, internet animators, which I really respect a lot. Okay, so let's get into the background history. Smiling Friends was played by Zach Hedel and Michael Kusak, and first aired on January 10th, 2022. A fairly recent show, actually, and also stars, uh, Zach Hedel and Michael Kusak. Zach playing Pim and Michael playing Charlie, along with Mr. Boss, played by a man only known as Mark M. The show is about a charity known as Smiling Friends, whose goal is to make people happy. It follows two friends, Pim and Charlie, who get in crazy adventures while trying to do their jobs. Now for why it's on the list. This show is so creative. I mean, the animation style alone goes from 2D to 3D to stop motion, even including live action. I mean, for crying out loud, there was a two-minute scene of the devil having just a really awkward yet simple conversation with the DoorDash guy. Now, on paper, this sounds like something so stupid. You couldn't believe it. But, God, this is a good show. You can find Smiling Friends on HBO Max or Adult Swim. And now for number three. Inside Job. Now, this, this was a shock. I expected this show to be 
horrible without end. But I ended up watching the entire thing in one sitting and edge of my seat the entire time. Now for some background history real quick. Inside Job was played by Chian Takuchi, if I'm pronouncing that wrong. An executive producer on one of my favorite shows, Gravity Falls, and to my surprise, Alex Hirsch, the creator of Gravity Falls, was also an executive producer. First aired on Netflix on October 22nd, 2021. And stars Liz- Izzy Kaplan as Reagan, Christian Slater as her father, Rand, Clark Duke as Brett and their co-workers, which include a human-dolphin hybrid and a talking mushroom. Inside Job is set in a world where every conspiracy exists, and a company called Cognito Inc. is charged in charge of making sure no one ever figures out. Rand is a former CEO of Cognito Inc., and was fired, but his daughter Reagan has spent her entire life trying to get to the top. Right as she's about to finally get there, she's told she'll be getting the job at one cost. Reagan is brilliant, but she's very, uh, unlikable. So they bring in a yes man, Brett, to help. They eventually learn to work together, but as mysteries start to unfold, their jobs start becoming harder. Why it's on the list. This, this show was just so fun to watch. Every second, another twist. And the voice acting was amazing. They got John DiMaggio. That's an accomplishment on its own. And the writing was so great. The perfect balanced storytelling and writing. But honestly, I just have so much praise for the theme song. Like the best theme song of 2021. One of my faves. Inside Job is available on Netflix. Number two. Overpopulated planet. That's right. I've been talking this whole time. I'm the one holding the pupa. My name's Corvo. This is this is my show. I just dropped the pupa. Do you see me? This, this is ridiculous. I hate Earth. It's a horrible home. And one of these days, I'm gonna blow it up and just be done with the whole stupid thing. I swear to God. Yep, that's right. Solar opposites. Wow, this is not just a Rick and Morty clone. Okay, let's get into some background history. Solar Opposites was created by Justin Roiling and Mike McCann. Its first season premiered on May 8th, 2020, and its second on March 16th, 2021, along with its holiday special on November 22nd, 2021. It stars Justin Roiland, Thomas Middleditch, Sean Gimbor, um, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, sorry, and Mary Mack as in order, Corvo, Terry, Yemulak, and Jesse, along with Sajin McMahon as the pupa. The show center, centers around an alien family unit. After their planet explodes, four people and a pupa were sent to uninhabited planets to repopulate, but unfortunately, they landed on Earth and are stuck there until they fix their ship. But why it's on the list? This show thrives in the most simple kind of humor. It's a fish out of water story, so lines like this. Why did they make so many languages? Why didn't they just get together and figure out one language so when I go to a Mexican restaurant, I can just order cheese too? Make me laugh so hard, I fall off the couch. But it's not just that. The show is critically acclaimed because of its amazing sea plot. The Wall. The Wall is basically a show within a show. Basically, Yumulak and Jesse shrink down people they don't like and put them in a wall in their room and occasionally give them food. People and create a new society in there ruled by Ruthless Warlord. Sorry, this feels like maybe should have gone in the background history section. Um, this is just such an amazing show, and honestly, it's not better, it's not better than Rick and Morty. Don't hate on me in the comments, but these shows are both great. And I love Rick and Morty, but Solar Hopsis just has a different feel to it. So, I'd say they're both pretty good. Rick and Morty, of course, is great. Please, don't leave any comments. Please. You can watch Solar Opposites on Hulu. Now, on to number one. It's Central Park. Yep, that's fine. Central Park. I'm not- I'm not even gonna go into anything. Let's just get into the background history. Central Park was created by Josh Gad, Lauren Butchard, and Nora Smith. The first season aired on May 29th, 2020, with season 2A airing on June 25th, 2021, and season 2B airing on March 4th, 2022. As of this recording, still season 2B is currently running. So there's Chris and Bell from, um, 
and uh, in season one, and Emily Raven Letman in season two as Molly. Um, Titus Burgess, uh, definitely saying that wrong. I'm really sorry. I'm not good at pronouncing these names. Uh, as her bro- as Molly's brother Cole, Leslie Odom Jr. as Owen, their father. Kathleen Hahn as Paige, their mother, along with Josh Gad as Bertie, and a busker who and the show's narrator, and Stanley Tucci as Bitsy branded him, the show's villain, along with our horribly treated assistant, Helen, played by Davy Diggs, whose only goal is to get into Bitsy's will. The show is about a park ranger, Owen, and his family who live in Central Park, and them trying to stop Bitsy Brandenham's plan to destroy the park and turn it into real estate. Now for why it's number one on the list. For a show of this caliber, it's unbelievably underrated. I mean, the cast alone, I recognize every name in there. And the animation style is so simple yet comforting. It's not even a new one, it's the same from Bob's Burgers, Lauren Butcher. Um, but what I really adore about the show is the music. Some of the funniest and best music I've heard in an animated show in a really long time. And they had at least two songs per episode. I mean, the work that it must have been put into this. Overall, I love this show, and it's one of my favorites I've seen in a while. Uh, this part, unscripted. I just have so much praise for this show. Please, if you're going to watch anything on this list, watch it. Please do. Look away, don't leave yet. I told you I had an announcement to celebrate my 100th video. We're having a huge giveaway for Top Down. And because this video was about stuff from 2020 to 2022, I will be giving away every super premium item from 2020 to 2022. Uh, the final one is uh, the hot dog event that is currently going on. I forgot the name. <laughs> Um, but that means Muscular Millhouse, Donut Homer, Homerland Bundle, The Boom Tourie, Circuit Circus, Isit, Catfish Lake, Rubido, Wilbur Noble, Hans McMahon, Robin Hood Homer, Pixel Homer, Daisy McGunn, Test Subject Bart, Hunter Sword Bouvier, Big and Tall Men, Shop, Ein's Car with Iron, Steam Tams, Jackpot Realty, Mr. Plows File, Radioactive Homer, Mr. McGreg, Sergeant Sausage, and a bonus 10,000 donuts. That's a lot. But there is some restrictions you the uh and uh, let me tell you how do you enter? Well, to enter, you first need to have Discord because that's how I message. Please join my server. The link is in the description so you can enter and skip away, but also so you can talk to me and all the cool people on on the tapped out community. Um or DM me, uh, if you, but also please join the server. My username will also be in the description. Um, all you need to say is that, um, you saw my video, um, and you'll be entered in the competition. I'll have your Discord username, and, um, the due date is, uh, today is March 24th, as of recording this thing. Yeah, this video took a while to edit and make. Um, so, let's say about, um, April 10th. April 10th is the due date. Um, the winner will be chosen using a Wheel of Names thing. Um, it's, uh, right there. Should be right there on the video, that's the website. Um, I'll put all of the disc, your Discord usernames on there. Um, I'll record it April uh, a day or so before, and it will premiere that day. Good luck, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.